what is up everybody we are back with a brand new tip video giving you guys the secret sauce some of the best and most op aim settings that you have to have this first one is a huge one that was introduced in modern warfare as you can see i can really move my stick around and then re-snap on someone very easily you know at a fast rate at a fast speed that is not always doable and this thing does take a little bit getting used to but once you have it you're not gonna miss so let's talk about the setting very quickly for the first one we're gonna be talking about is aim response curve type dynamic which is a reverse s curve mapping for fine aim rate control so basically what dynamic does is when you are moving your stick very quickly it basically goes from let's say at a very high speed and then it slows down towards the end so whenever you're trying to snap on your opponent you know you're snapping on somebody it's gonna go very fast and then it's gonna slow down more towards the end now this is going to allow you one to snap a lot harder on your opponents because if you can move your stick very quickly and then at the end you know it slows down you're able to hit those precise long range shots or even just some really good shots in general as you can see i'm able to really be precise i can move my stick very quickly to around the area where my enemy is and then i get to kind of slows it down a little bit towards the end which is perfect because obviously to hit some really precise shots and be really consistent with your shot now playing at a high level this setting is really beneficial because that is what a lot of pro players do right they are very snap snappy they they're really good about hitting the shots and a big reason for this is dynamic standard basically goes from at a slow place to to a fast pace at um and it's very consistent and then linear is just basically one play uh, one pace so standard has been used in the past by certain pro players but for the most part everyone rocks dynamic now to be completely honest dynamic is a little bit different and if you've been playing on standard it is going to take a little bit getting used to but it what i like to say unlocks your full potential man if you can really get good with dynamic and master it with your aim it's going to allow you to become a better player and if you want to be you know compete if you care about being good or being a better player if one day you want to be a pro this setting is an absolute must just keep practicing your aim keep using this thing and it's you're gonna get used to it and then you're gonna absolutely do things like this now for the next aim setting that you must absolutely have is aim assist type of black ops man traditional aim is slow down near target used in black ops games now i've used default and i've used black ops i do like default on this game i'm not gonna say it's bad but you can tell with black ops the extra little aim assist pull that you get especially at range there's definitely a times at range where i'm using black ops where i feel like this is also allowing me to be even more consistent and even get snappier or like just get more aim assist pull and i mean we can all agree aim assist is op you know let's not lie to ourselves and this this setting is an absolute game changer man it's gonna really allow you to one hit your shots easier especially at range and two just be more consistent in general now what i what i did notice is, is is that it does feel a little bit slow sometimes at range because it's it's a strong it's a little bit of a stronger pull so if you play too slow of a sense maybe it might screw you close up but overall man this setting is a game changer i know the setting was in cold war uh, but for some reason it didn't feel as good but in this game man i'm absolutely loving it i've been using it for the past couple days i'm already max level you know i've been absolutely snapping on people and my shot just looks incredible man i know i'm just shooting bots right now I'm, i am gonna go into a public lobby and do the same thing and demonstrate these settings to you and go a little bit more in depth but you know these settings you gotta change them let me show you the real deal now so here we have it a regular pub match playing against some really good players and you're gonna see something is that my shot is one incredible oh who's shallowing me not today buddy oh almost had him but you can see like how i'm able to really snap and be consistent with my snap dynamic response curve type is actually a big factor when it comes to that snapping ability and really being good at doing that now i know like i said it does take time to get used to it i'm not going to sit here and say it's going to be very easy but once you get used to it you're going to absolutely be frying with it and trust me you want to have the setting on there's more people here Here's someone under me, I think. Yep, oh, easy. Reload, fast hands. Here's someone else above me. Oh. I feel like my snapping is just so freaking good in this game. And I'm pretty sure, I mean, it works anyway, right? Hit fire, you know, ADS or non-ADS. If you're doing this, you know, that's where the snap come in, comes in usually. Like, you basically want to be centered. And then wherever a guy is, obviously, you have to snap, you snap. Like, you know, like, snap based off, like, where he might be. Oh no, I'm popping the UAV, I'm popping the UAV. Oh my God. 
I popped it while my gun was out. That was really weird. Snap. You see the snap? Guys down low. I'm about to eagle chow him. Three, two, one chow. He's going up now. What? Got that guy. See the snap. It feels like I... I don't know if it's me or where it's the setting, but like I really don't really miss much. See how like I, I center around the screen, but like I'm just ready. For... Damn! Well, I can't counter that. A shotgun just messed me up. And that goes to obviously the next setting as well. Like you can just see it comes into play, especially in long range, which is the Black Ops aim assist. I'm sure you guys have seen me like how I'm laser. I'm literally beaming with this MP5. MP5. D5 across the map. Got this guy. See, easy. Flash. All good. Are they still back here? Yep. Got that guy. I just feel so confident challenging anybody with these two settings on. Ross awesome map MP5 laser snapped on. Like some of the kills I'm getting is because they're probably like just mind blowing. Like, how's this guy killing me? Is he in a corner? Now the way this game is usually is is like it does reward like people preeming. So like I feel like having that like extra just you know help to snap on people is really beneficial in, this, in a game like this. It's like what people talk about all the time, aim assist. Abuse it. Oh my god, that would have been disgusting if I got that second kill. Like, I'm literally... <laughs> like, you understand, know SMGs are... Honestly, they're pretty good at this game, but, like... We all know, like, SMGs don't, aren't really built for, you know, range. Oh, that's a dead nade. But I just do it so easily, you know what I'm saying? Like, cross a map. Cross a map, just range, just mapping the guy with the MP5, right? Like... Quick fix and play. I'm going to reach out right now. Yep, easy. Two. So when changing to dynamic, you're going to instantly notice right away that it's going to feel a little bit weird at first. And that's okay. Because it's going to go from like slow, like fast to slow. So something I recommend with dynamics, a little, a little, a little tip for you guys is like, Playing on a very high sense isn't necessary, you know what I'm saying? Because, like, it already goes from very fast to slow. It kind of already gets that fast sense aspect in play. See, as you can see. Oh, my God. Disgusting. Break the door camera. Easy. Reload. I hear him. Easy. You can see, man. I'm just, like, snapping so hard and getting these crazy kills. This is a, this is a clip in the making right here. This is a clip in the making. This guy's gonna want to chow me. Look at that. He backed down from the fight. Crossed the map with MP5. Flash it back here. So change those settings, guys. Change those two main settings. Like I said, I have a more in-depth aim setting video and like aim setting video, you know, aim tip video, you know, all the good stuff. I have multiple settings videos in my channel. That you guys can look at but these two settings are very huge i really hope this video helps you guys out a ton and uh really helps your amen which I i'm very confident it's going to and like i said dynamic might feel a little weird at first i'm not gonna sit here and say it's gonna be all peaches and peaches oh my god the snappy there's so many i'm probably dead here unless i just snap on everybody head, head glitch on a staircase no problem this guy right here over here no problem you know you know what i'm saying like you know what I'm saying? You make you make centering centering with these settings on top of the world. I, I hope these guys challenge me in the back and not run away from me this time. Snap on. Got everyone here. Everyone in the back, huh? It's a party. It's a party back here. Let me get some. Let me get some action. Get some action. I'm literally just ego challenge. 62 kills. 
absolutely just first game on just dominating with these settings man if you guys enjoyed the video make sure to like comment subscribe i have so many tip videos on my channel go check them out and we're going to be doing more in the near future don't miss it man